Does this not look like poop? It's a money day. No, not my poop. <gasps> it's my turn to prank someone. <gasps> what the f My mom specifically made me order the Kirkland style plastic wrap because apparently everything else is shit and she wants to die when she uses it. So this is gonna become useful. I'm doing, I'm starting this vlog with a TikTok hack. I know that has nothing to do with pranks, but I need to test this theory because it has been on my mind since I wanna say 11 p.m. last night. I couldn't fall asleep because I felt like I feel like this will work and I feel like it's genius and I feel like it's necessary that every single person with a dog needs to know this. So honey, you know how we have to clip our dog's nails? Yeah. I found the best hack. Pull more, pull more. Okay, stop. Okay, you're gonna need about that much plastic wrap. Unwrap it. Now, you're gonna need to wrap the top. Okay, Daniel? Yes. Stay right there. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You look like a condom. <laughs> Literally, I won't do any TikTok hacks unless it's for my dogs that make me look like this. <laughs> and then you get peanut butter. Oh my. And then you put it on. Oh. <laughs> it's so cold. So you trying to look bold? No, because no, then they lick the dog it. won't look at you. Ah, wait, ah, wait, wait, can you it. smush it down? <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> Hashtag self care. Hashtag DIY face mask. Shout out to whoever <laughs> came up with this. On the. <laughs> <laughs> she thought I was dyeing my hair with peanut butter. <laughs> so she was shook. Mango! Do you not smell me? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you smell it. <laughs> oh! Take a shit. Don't look anywhere else. Don't think about anything else. Just think about the peanut butter. Okay, so now I would go in and grab his paw and start clipping while he licking. Oh my God, it works. Uh, go ahead. Okay, so then you grab these, right? And then you go in. <laughs> and then you go, no Tiger, look at my peanut butter head. Oh yeah, and then you just snip. No! <laughs> Ew. You wanna lift this gross thing? No, you deserve better than this. <laughs> Nobody cares. It wasn't impressive, but it was funny. Well, TikTok <laughs> failed me once again. These are my titties. <laughs> then they look a little just voluptuous. It just grew in quarantine. Not the only thing that grew about me. Here's what's going on. We have a lot of footage, random bits here and there of the past couple of days. Essentially, this place has been a crackhead den. And we have been trying and attempting to prank each other over and over and over again. And we've only been successful three times. And I'm gonna show you guys all three times. <laughs> Majority happened to Dan Dan, <laughs> which I don't know why. I think going into it, we had the idea that it was gonna be like, ooh, like we're gonna prank Patricia because she's new here, and then like eventually we'll probably like form a coalition between the boys and the girls. But then it ended up being like, whoever's going to sleep is <laughs> fine. <laughs> so we're all sleep deprived right now. We all sleep like this. Um, a couple of nights ago, Patricia was sleeping in her room and that one vlog, I'm pretty sure I vlogged it, she said something along the lines of like, one day I'm gonna be sleeping in this bed and someone's gonna be staring through the window. And that got everybody excited. Um, primarily my fiance and Dan Dan. <laughs> I, I felt bad the entire time, okay? And so we get into bed, it's really early and I'm super excited and I'm like, okay, we're finally gonna sleep early today. I like put my covers on. I got my hair in socks and my fiance gets a text message and I'm thinking, okay, who the hell is texting him at this time, right? And so I go, who the hell is that? And he goes, it's Dan Dan. And I go, why, what's wrong? And he goes, oh, I gotta go. And I go, what? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, we're gonna go prank Patricia. Oh, so it was your idea. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Do you want to come? And I go, no, because I felt so bad. But I didn't feel bad enough to not pull up the security footage. So I was watching this all go down, right? So I'm laying in bed watching the security footage, right? And I see them meet in the little living room. They gather flashlights together. They get a vlog camera. I see them meet in the back door. They go outside. They vlog a little bit. Then they go to the side of the house, okay? So I put a camera in front of her door. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put it on the floor so I can hear her talking. I, I see 
see all of this happen. And then all of a sudden, I hear and see them knocking on your window. And I'm seeing it happen, and they're both like, right? And then they're like, and then they knock harder. And I'm watching this happen. I hear it happen, and then I hear, <laughs> right? And then I'm like, oh shit, right? And as I'm watching the footage, I get a call from you. Yeah, I just fell asleep. Oh. I was deep in my sleep. But she's like not talking because she's got scared. Is, I can remember like in my deep sleep hearing like a deep thump. But, and then that's when I started waking up. And I was like, okay, this is what the fuck. <laughs> but also your reaction is really weird. I'm going to play it right now. What time is it? Uh, it's 12.40. Wait, what? 12.14 a.m. Guys, we have this one here. We're gonna go scare our new roommate, Patricia. She's been talking about that she feels like somebody's gonna be looking into oh, the yeah. window. Yeah. So oh, we're gonna go to her window and flash this light and knock on her window and scare her. Yes. It's my turn to prank someone. Open up, open up, open the window. Open the window. Is that you? Please. <laughs> I didn't know. Open the window now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared. I got scared. Open up. Open up. Open up. <laughs> You call her. Yeah, but she was taking too long, so I walked <laughs> over and I was like, Stephanie, somebody's knocking at me. Stephanie! <laughs> 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 Wait, so we scared you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's just our tradition. <laughs> our tradition. I, I got pranked, so you gotta get pranked. Oh you gotta get pranked! I think the reaction's so strange because the main thing is, I if I woke up to someone thumping on my window at night, I don't think I would just go to your room and be like, Someone keeps knocking on my window. <laughs> okay, in my head I'm like, okay, I don't know if they're naked or not, so I'm just gonna call her first and be like, <laughs> Why would we be naked? Oh. Because I don't know he's outside. I don't She's know. like, You're maybe that was the thumping. <laughs> I'm my mom. <laughs> Bruh, I'm down. <laughs> You're pregnant. Me? <laughs> she's, she sees me taking simple health every single day. Hashtag simple health. She sees me taking birth control like every single day. She's not gonna care about me like good for you. Like. Maybe Dan is pregnant. I hit Dan Dan. <laughs> we have no other choice. What? You're pregnant. <laughs> Literally the next morning, Dan Dan decided to take a nap on the couch in front of all of us. A very bad idea, Dan Dan. In front of all three of us who were sitting, I want to say like three feet away from him. And just one by one, each one of us got a spark in our eyes. We decided to turn on all of the security alarms in the house to the point where we got calls saying like, Um, are you guys dying? Do you need the police immediately? Um, it was really bad. And you your reaction is <laughs> so... Wait, have you seen the footage? A little bit. Talk I'm gonna show it. you guys. This is Dan Dan, by the way. I know the vest is confusing. So, I'm gonna go set off our alarms and run out screaming burglar. Alright. <laughs> you say alright. What do you mean? It was not me. Him. We're the team, bro. Team. It was my mom. It was <laughs> mommy bear. It's okay. <laughs> so, I, like, I just want to say though, based on the video that I saw, like, what were you doing? Walking back and forth. And At what point just, you I'll just followed me? Yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what did you think? Do you remember? Why didn't you call the mind? police? You were just clueless. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because like I, th I was like nervous that so he was gonna catch on. Really ever go comes down, then there will be the ones that. <laughs> so we have to call okay. the police because it was all three of us. We're like, call the police. Call the police. Yeah. Okay. 
okay. then he's like, I'm gonna I'm just follow this one. <laughs> and then, that night, <laughs> that night was the poop prank. It was like back to back. Yeah, yeah, it was like within like, yeah. So we decided to prank him when he went to bed early. <laughs> we decided to prank him. We didn't know what prank to do, so at first we thought that he was gonna get on the top bunk and like wear a mask and like tickle your face. Dude, that would be so scary, bro. But then yeah, yeah, we yeah. were like, I feel like it'll be hard. Like, there's yeah. no way. And then there was one where it got really K-drama-y, where he was gonna hold a pile of fake poop, and then he was gonna trip and fall, <laughs> and then slam it on your face. <laughs> and then I was like, this is not a K-drama. You are hard. Yeah, like, that's just too much. And that's a lot of cleanup after. <laughs> yeah. So then we decided to go with a classic, you've got poop on your face. And here is that one. Patricia, what are we about to do right now? What time is it right now? We waited until 2 in the morning for this moment. Can nice. I take a bite? <laughs> bro, bro, that's not why we're awake right now. This is the plan, okay? Tiny bit, right? <gasps> Honey, stop! Tiny bit, tiny it's bit. It's more believable if it's just a tiny bit. <laughs> Wait. Does this not look like poop? <laughs> stop popping you up. Oh, that looks good. And then I'm gonna Does it like, like, look like his poop? But again, it's then, a money day. <laughs> no, not my poop. <laughs> no, we know it's Tiger's poop. <laughs> oh, you gotta explain to the viewers. Why do you have poop? I'm Dan Dan. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go into his room and be like, Oh my god, Dan Dan, tiger pooped everywhere. It's on your face. And he's gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> gonna go with a plan B. I'm just going there and start wiping his face and then he's gonna wake up and be like, yo, bro, I'm sorry. Tiger pooped everywhere and I'm just cleaning it up okay. and there's some on your face. You and I grab paper towels and we'll be wiping the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be wiping the ground. Do you think this is good? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Did it get ya? Yeah. <laughs> Is the best prank or no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and now we are down to no pranks. Oh, it's coming. Dude, I honestly think you need to get pranked soon. Me? Why me? <laughs> Why would I get pranked? Dude, I think we should do boys versus girls. Girls always yeah. play the long game, so I feel like you guys don't want to do boys versus girls. Because in 10 years, you will have be married, have kids, and you'll realize that that was all a prank. With that being said, afterwards, after all of this, we also decided that we need to have some quality time together to love each other again because it just felt like a war zone where everyone was just looking over their shoulder, not being able to sleep, forming insomnia. So we decided to play Monopoly together and it ended up splitting us apart because Dan Dan is Jeff Bezos. And I don't know how to explain it other than all of us formed a union against him and we tried to make him bankrupt. <laughs> and it's just and we failed. <laughs> yeah, and we failed. He's so okay, so he had 
five properties at the end and then at the end like we I feel like we bended the rules a lot and I was out of the game first and then he was out of the game and we gave all of the property all the other properties that were owned other than five on the entire board to Patricia and she still lost <laughs> and then he kept saying why are you guys mad at me I was like peacefully <laughs> He's like what's going it's just, on all right it's a game, just guys. Just a game. Hey guys yeah it's just a game <laughs> so we decided to hate each other all over again we're gonna be playing Monopoly but with cash but like not in the way that like, Mr. Beast would do it we need about two thousand dollars to play it our way so no, if 20, um twenty thousand <laughs> we took away a zero so there's twenty thousand in Monopoly money <laughs> we take away a zero that would be two thousand mm. but we don't have even have two thousand cash <laughs> right now oh. so we're gonna try to play with whatever we have so we decided that we're going to cut off the zeros so if boardwalk costs 400 monopoly dollars now it's going to cost 40 us dollars so we're going to try playing monopoly and um china is bankrolling it <laughs> the bank of china thank you so much in each player's pile we all have 148 dollars and that's what we're starting with and i'm the dog so we have contestant Stephanie Su, Dan Dan Yin, the Alpha, Patricia Lee, the Beta, I guess. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, who won yesterday? He did. Who was second, please? That's why you're Beta. <laughs> so, does anybody have like a strategy for Monopoly? Please leave it in the comments because we don't. I, I do now. From yesterday, I learned how to beat the Monopoly man. We have now concluded that yet again we've got a Jeff Bezos here. <laughs> the despised landlord. Just, it's just a game but just for the game he is that role we've got the rich woman rich in cash but not in property but she just bought her first house yes, she did. we've got property rich what we like to call um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's more money rich. you are house no rich. i'm house rich you are house rich and I'm broke. <laughs> I've got some railroads, but you apparently <laughs> nobody uses them anymore. We changed our mind. Dan, Dan, would you like to join the workers' union? I, I'd like to. The invitation has been passed on by okay. Patricia and I, officially. Okay. Mr. Mangoba has taken over all of the buildings, and he's decided to put a hotel on Connecticut <laughs> Avenue. It's a fair price. But that's exactly what an evil landlord says. <laughs> so right now, Patricia is Dan, Dan, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> um, snarky, creepy little landlord, huh? And um, she owes him $100. I'm short Listen. by 20 And so he said, deal. give her the green properties for free rent. And she said, yeah. I think not. Dan Dan? Yes. Jeff? Why is it so difficult for you to make friends in this game? <laughs> <laughs> so, Patricia, would you like yes. to barter a deal with Jeff Bezos or the beloved Elon Musk of the time? <laughs> <laughs> I will go with Shocking. Elon Musk. Why? Because, because you charge, delivery you charge so much for Prime and lately it's not even Prime. Why but he is a gracious him? landlord. Right. Exactly. He gave I don't me take a advantage. Alright, give me a chance. Give me a chance. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Okay, okay, how will you be a gracious landlord today? How will you try just to keep me, your tenants? Just pay me half. Fifty dollars. So he's doing pretty good PR work <laughs> right now. <laughs> but I think at the um, level that your reputation has been tarnished, you might need to do a little more than half. Well, I that. have no money. Uh, well, that's, that's what happened. Like, that's like I the think, new problem. I think forty dollars is fair. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Okay, that's. This is what you call a working union. <laughs> <laughs> Where will Elon go next? Oh, that's me. Ten dollars, Elon. No problem. No problem. Thank at you. All. Oh. No problem. Thank at you all. so much. You know what? I'll let you just take fifteen dollars. How about that? Really? Yes. No problem. And then I shut the camera, <laughs> and he goes. Give me five. So, um, Elon Musk is in a pickle <laughs> because Jeff Bezos landed on his okay. property, and Jeff says, "You know, Elon, I'm not that liquid. I don't have. Yeah. I don't have ninety dollars. I only have like forty. <laughs> we told him not to buy those houses, but he." He got greedy on making I a just subdivision. Have one goal in this game right now. Yes. It's to tear these two little girls. Oh, yeah. you, I don't you, like the fact that you like to tear them other people. Up. You gotta help the people. Do you not like you female gotta help CEOs? The people to no, 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 I love them. You <laughs> love them. No, 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 but I gave her. <laughs> okay, essentially, he gave 
her like a fifty dollar discount, and then he landed on her property, and she refused to give a discount. So he's kind of butt hurt. Yeah. Elon, listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening, Jeff. <laughs> I'll give you twenty dollars, and you don't have to pay any of my rent forever. You got you only got three three little properties. But it's pretty big. Mm, not really. But only what, the rent. Wait, wait. I have a question. Yeah, yeah. What's your? Why problem? do you help them but not me? I do help you. I'm helping. I'm talking to you right now. Otherwise, okay. I sh I will just take all your property. I'll give the. I'll give you these. Two. Ah, nah. These two is not worth six hundred dollars. <laughs> what, what, what do you need, Elon? What do you I need? You need to sell your hotel. Why don't I just take wants. whatever you have? Forty, forty-three dollars. Really? Yeah. You're so kind. <laughs> what is that? How about forty-two? No, that's thirty. That's thirty-two. 32. <laughs> Jeff owes Elon Musk a hundred dollars, and then he owes Patricia thirty dollars, and he's got about sixteen dollars. <laughs> and so he would rather sacrifice his entire arsenal of property, his entire real estate profile, in order to take down me and Patricia. Partnership. Here you go. Okay, so I just acquired Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all... can we take? Can we split the jackpot? Then it's a real game. All right, split the jackpot. You just won the lottery. So. I'm going to um transfer over my assets to Elon. <laughs> he said he'll take care of me. All right, I think it's game over. Eighty-five dollars. I don't have that. Okay, game over. All right, guys. Jeff. Yes, Elon. Uh, now I acquired uh, Amazon. Now I'm gonna take Jeff to Mars with me as well. Are you ready to go to Mars? What yes. The heck is going Okay, perfect. Guys, that's it. Uh, stay safe, stay home, stay responsible, and subscribe to Mr. Mango. Bye.